Let's go over Google first and just kind of set the stage here. At the developer conference yesterday, showing off the latest AI features. Much of what the search giant showed, though, won't launch anytime soon, or when they do, they're going to be experimental. But the company's most important and profitable product, Search, of course, going to get a revamp featuring what they're calling AI overviews, rolling out to all U.S. users starting next week. This is a feature that you see a summarized version of search results at the top of your page, something you might have seen before if you're part of Google's experimental search generative experience that's being tested with some users in recent months. CEO Sundar Pichai told our Deirdre Bosa yesterday, early tests show increased engagement for that new AI version of search. In general, we find, you know, it, it's both overall increasing usage. And when we look at it year on year, we've been able to grow traffic to the ecosystem. So we are, compared to most other players, we are prioritizing, you know, approaches which will uh, generate traffic as well. So we are working hard on that. In other words, that's exactly what advertisers want to hear. Google says AI overviews are going to be pushed out to a billion users by the end of this year. But it's not just search. There's some cool stuff here, too. Google showed off a slew of performance updates to its AI model called Gemini, of course. And beyond that, this is the big one. We saw a teaser for Project Astra, which Google bills as an AI agent capable of acting like a true personal assistant using a variety of your inputs. That includes text, video, or voice, sort of what OpenAI showed already. Pachai told our Deirdre, Astra will be launched by the end of the year. But of course, a grain of salt. I've been following Google I.O. for many, many years. Yep. They're very famous for launching stuff and then just kind of pretending it never happened and abandoning it. Okay, but, so we want to, I want to get your high level thoughts on where what you saw yesterday, how that compares to what OpenAI. Yeah, Microsoft. And is rolling out already, by the way, because I'm I'm an open AI customer and I've I've got yeah. I've got uh, you know where it comes on the stack. Floor. Oh, because you use that a lot on the st is, can I start using it? Where it is yeah. on the stack? That's like yeah. a ranking of yeah, like stack rank exactly. Them. Stack, exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna start using it. But, Thanks. but the point, so that that's that's the point. So this Astra thing, OpenAI already has it. It's already shipping to users today. In fact, you have right. it. I don't have it yet. I don't pay for OpenAI, but okay. that's probably why. But some paid users are already you starting start to get it. For that. Twenty bucks a month is you're, pretty steep. You're in the business. I, I can expense it probably. But my point point being, they're already shipping it yep. way ahead. We don't even know when Astra is necessarily going to ship. Uh, Pachai told Deirdre, this year we'll see if that actually happens. We know they've stumbled on some of stuff. But look, that's, again, OpenAI is ahead of